I'm Julian Temple and I'm a filmmaker. I'm Joe Rush and I make uh, sort of sculptures and environments out of old bits of scrap, scrap and waste. I happened to go to a drive-in outside Havana and saw this amazing sight of all these beautiful old American cars lined up just like they used to be but really battered and painted Cuban colours. And it was just a no-brainer really, that should be at Glastonbury. Pitching it to Michael was also, he, he got the idea and knew that Joe was the man to make it a, a, a reality. I've been coming to Glastonbury since 1985 and um, making, I mean, I think the first thing I did was make Stonehenge out of cars, you know, like, so it's a bit of an evolution of the original theme, you know, it's, uh, it's really just playing with cars, you know, it's, like, just what's like we did when we were kids. I've got a small aircraft there, like a, a private jet that we found in Biggin Hill, so that's my private, I'm living in that. They're all, you know, sort of a piece to get and cobbled together. A lot of them were wrecks when we got them, you know, we got them far away Scotland, you know, and brought them all back. But we had uh, some really good graffiti painters, doing, you know, doing, putting finishes on them and... So, you know, we've sort of brought them back to life, really, in everything except getting them riding. We've only got one that's driving. Um, right. and the, but it's nice not having to get them working, you know, because, you know, you can play much better with them if you don't actually have to get them to go down the road. <laughs> if you think about it, this is the only place you can have a drive-in because the weather does what it does and people will enjoy Glastonbury, whatever falls on them. So I wanted to have a field where you could have mud, whatever, on, you know, on, on a year like this, you'd still have a place to have mud, that was the one field I, I dreamt about until I came across this driving in Havana and thought, well, that, I've never, it's not been an ambition of mine, but it just was staring me in the face, you know, it's some things you can't deny.